Hey, it's a low budget fisherman here, and uh, we're gonna do an unboxing of this uh, Kimless uh, X2 bait caster reel that I got off of Amazon. Um, pretty excited because uh, I got it for pretty cheap. Uh, I was just at lunch and they were running it for $34.99, and they had a 40% off for being a premium member. <sighs> And then they had another additional 40% off coupon, which brought it down to $12.60 with taxes around $13.82. I mean, that's really hard to beat. Uh, I heard a lot of good uh, things about these, that these were made by Cascane. So, let's unbox it. And see here, uh, I guess I got to do a review for for your breaded line, that's pretty cool. Some instructions. Hey, it is made by Cast King, just like uh, all the other reviews on uh, Amazon. I'm quite surprised. I guess this is their uh, sister brand. The reel in the bag. Let's see uh, instructions. Little schematics. How to break it down and service the reel. Oh. Check it out. Got some casking uh, stickers. It's pretty cool. Quite surprised uh, that uh, casking broke off and uh, made another brand. I guess uh, they're trying to expand their uh, product, trying to seize the market a little bit more. But uh, let's check out the reel. Let's see uh, specs on this reel. Uh, the features. So a Camelis uh, X2, supposed to weigh 6.7 pounds, 5 plus 1 ball bearings. This one is a 7 2 to 1 gear ratio. It has a high speed short main bearing. Let's check it out. Open it right here. And that is correct. It is shorter than all my other bait caster reels, spools. Put that back in there. It tears apart just like any other bait caster. Got eight brake magnets. Let's see, uh, close that up. Let's see, it seems to be uh, serviceable just like any other bait caster. Pretty smooth. Let's see, aesthetically, I really like the color. I like this very, very big, uh, highly visible uh, brake numbers here. Because yeah, for us older folks, uh, we're our, our sights uh, getting very bad. Let's see, <clears throat> I like the carbon fiber accents in there, they're hitting in there. I like the uh, accent colors. It complements the black pretty, pretty well, not too much to overpower. I like the size of the reel, fits my hand quite well. And this is one of my favorite parts for it being such a cheap, well, cheap price uh, bedcaster. Listen to this. You hear that audible click? That's on the drag. Audible click on the tension knob. Audible click on the brake system. Even some of my loos don't even have that. And uh, I think that's a pretty great feature to have. Let's see. Uh, perceived quality on this thing, I would rate it at 3.5, almost 4. It's kind of hard to tell the performance, the reliability, or the durability because I haven't like spooled it up and used it on water. It's a uh, winter time right now and I really haven't had that much time to go out and fish. I'm probably going to spool this up with a mono backing into a 30 pound braid. Well, I'll probably have to spool it up tonight and probably throw a few casts tomorrow morning 
just to see if everything works, make sure it breaks right, um, make sure uh, I return it within the window of Amazon's uh, return if it doesn't work, but I'm, ho I'm hoping it all works and I'll probably just keep it if everything works. So I'll let you guys know later.